In this video, we're going to talk about why you struggle to return higher topspin balls to the backhand side and why it's so difficult for you to seemingly hit them on time and you tend to hit them a bit late and the ball always misses over to the left. Now, obviously, we're talking about the two-handed backhand here. And so let's take, let's take a look at why your body doesn't seem to deal with those balls very well. If you're swinging and you have good upper body rotation, your racket should be swinging forward. Now, if you keep your elbows very close to your body in the process, you will be able to only deal with shots that are down here, somewhere in an ideal contact point. If it's a bit lower, you can bend your knees. If it's a little bit higher, you're already struggling because you can see the higher the ball goes, or the higher the contact point is, the more my racket points up. The problem is that I don't have anything to support my motion forward here because my hands are both below the contact point. Now that means that it feels much heavier on, on impact and it pushes my racket back if I'm not strong enough. Now the higher the ball goes, the tougher it gets. And you can see if a ball is really high up here, now you have a problem. You can rotate as much as you want. You're not going to be strong behind the ball and you're not going to feel like it's easy to return those higher balls. Now here's how to fix that. It's actually quite simple. All, all you have to think about is getting your left arm a little bit higher and your elbow a little bit more separated from your upper body. So the closer your elbows are to your upper body, the less you can deal with higher balls or balls that are further away from your body. It's pretty simple. You can't reach for them. So now when the ball is up higher, your arms, both of our arms actually, need to be higher as well. But the key point here is the left arm. Because how we want to deal with the backhand is the same thing as we would deal with it on a forehand. So if we're imagining, if we have a higher ball on the forehand, our arm would be higher so we can swing through the ball up here or swing upwards throughout the ball, through the ball. So you notice here, my elbow is very high, my arm is very high. So we need to do the same thing on the left-hand side, right? So if we're a left-handed player now, we would do the same thing up here. Now we're imagining the backhand, the two-handed backhand, as a forehand of a left-handed player with a second hand attached to the racket. So in that case, our arm would still need to swing the same way. We're just grabbing the racket higher because our right hand is at the bottom and we have to do the same thing here. Now you can see there's a lot of separation between my elbow or my upper arm and my upper body. If I keep it here, I don't have the same type of control and strength on top of the ball. My arms need to be higher. If my arms stay on the same level as the contact point and my contact point keeps my racket horizontal rather than pointing up or pointing down, I will be a lot stronger in the contact point and have an easier time hitting through the ball without issues. Now the key point here is you don't want the right arm to be higher than the left. If the right arm is higher than the left, even though both arms are separated from the upper body here, we now have our racket pretty open, right? Because the racket points up towards the sky a little bit. The more I get my right arm higher than the left, the more our racket points up. The more I get my left arm on top, the more my racket points down. So what we want is, because the ball is higher, we obviously don't want to really hit it up high very much. We want our left arm to be slightly on top so we can make sure that our racket doesn't open up and we hit the ball even higher up. From here, we can control the height and we're able to swing through the ball without any issues. Now, one more time, just to show you guys how that would look. If we keep our elbows very close to the body, it would look like this. We would swing forward and would be a very short lever and also short motion because it's all the upper body here. There's no arm motion anymore. There is no whipping effect. But if we get our left arm on top and we separate our arms from our upper body all the way throughout our motion, it is much easier to swing through the ball. Okay? Especially on the higher balls, Right? If we stay up here, it's much easier to make sure that we don't lose control of the ball, that we don't get laid, and that we're strong enough to push through the contact point all the way. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.